Here she is in all her glory. Finally got her done. Bought this in September of 2020 and did a lot of work to it. When we got it, there was no floor. It was a cattle trailer. And that was it. I welded all metal plates up here. Well of the door. Put new tires on it. Redone the bearings. And hit some baby moons. This back here will be a little work area. Never need to beat on anything. A little light bar going on up here, it's not hooked up yet. And then we got where the Jeep goes. Ranch, tow bar, it's all nice and neat. And the Jeep fits right in there. No room on this side barely any room on this side. I don't know if you can see or not, but it tucks away underneath there quite well. That's all storage, tools, parts, all that stuff. There's another compartment right in front of the grill. And then when the Jeep's not in here, this is our shower. This is the other side. This is where the living quarters will be. More storage just for camping stuff. Got a little light bar up here. Door came out pretty good. The whole inside is lined with cedar that I had brought home from work. And planed it down. The walls are fully insulated with the blow-in insulation. Floor is insulated also with insulation and metal on the bottom. We've got camping storage here. Then we have the electrical box. Swing off an inverter out of an ambulance. Of a battery, or you can plug into an outlet and let her charge up, and then you can run off of it. Sink.
works well. We've got 30 gallons of water tank here. Runs off 12 volt pump and then the hot water heater. You can only use the hot water heater when you're plugged into the wall. And we have refrigerator. More storage. Kitchen stuff. Folding table. Comes up like so. Then we have the bedroom. A little mess from the last time we went camping. Everything is sealed up tight. All the lights are LED. You got the air conditioner in. Works great. No leaks anywhere. And this is our home sweet home on the weekends when we go. Project turned out very well. I'm pretty impressed with it. The aluminum paint did not stick as well as I thought it would, but it does make a difference on the heat. And the overall weight of the whole camper is 10,000 pounds, which considering all the work I've done to it, it's not really all that bad. That's with it fully loaded with the Jeep. Tank topped off, all the tanks, gas, uh, anything, all our stuff. We weighed it and right at 10,000 pounds. Project was fun to do. I'm glad it's done. And I don't want to make another one.